This was the warning of an imminent change in direction in this conflict. Leaflets dropped on Gaza by the Israeli military, urging residents to flee southward and hospitals to evacuate. Roughly a million people are now in a race for their lives. This happened to us because of Israel, this resident says. But the actions of Hamas and its attack on Israeli citizens resulted in this retaliation and military buildup. The United Civilized World has to unite to help us fight uh, Hamas. The Israeli Prime Minister welcomed the U.S. Defense Secretary on Friday as more American defense aid pours into the country. But Lloyd Austin issued a warning that Israel has heard from the U.S. government before. Proceed with caution. This is a time for resolve and not revenge, for purpose and not panic. The U.S. says Israel has a right to defend itself, but that defense could have a significant civilian toll. And escape from the densely populated Gaza is nearly impossible with crossings closed. Our focus now is on helping to create safe zones, and we're doing that with the uh, leading international organizations. America's top diplomat has been shuttling around the Arab world where there are worries about a forced refugee crisis, but there are also opportunities. No, thanks for having us. The Qatari government is efforting negotiations for hostage releases. In the U.S., President Joe Biden met virtually with American families of some of the unaccounted for. But this matter is escalating. Shelling at the Israel-Lebanon border on Friday has sparked concern that Hezbollah may be preparing to act. A journalist on Lebanese soil died amid this most recent incident. The situation is approaching an apocalyptic feel with dire and unknown consequences lying in wait. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.